Hey there, audience. There's a uh, system that I kind of may have talked about at one point or another, but not really into all that much detail. And that's Barokatir, the Void Trader. Now, I didn't really talk about him before, or if I haven't actually talked about him before, because it isn't really something that's super necessary. But they got a new Warframe in 18.5. That's the, thankfully a quest frame, which is my favorite method of them delivering them. Which, actually, in order to get the quest, you have to talk to Baroque Tear. So, uh, where his exact location is will change, you know, depending on the time. But for intents and purposes of me recording this, he's actually over here in Saturn in the Cronia Relay. Now, he's always in a relay, one or the other. And if you go to it, it'll usually tell you which one. Right now, it's Cronia. Usually, it's not... A week-long event. Usually it's the weekends. And I, if I remember correctly, I think he s might skip a weekend or two. So, like, it's every other weekend. That's how much I use him. I don't really even pay attention. Because, for the most part, he can give you some nifty little gizmos and gadgets and skins and stuff like that. But I'm not one to super enjoy the delivery system. As you can see, Cronia Relay is getting pretty busy through its instances because in order to get the quest, you got to go to him. Uh, I'll, I'll say it right now. I love that it's a quest in order to get the frame because quests, they can pump out a little bit more lure with it. They can do some fun things, and it's a guaranteed thing. It takes the RNG out of getting the darn Warframe, and that's one of my biggest complaints about most of them is the RNG because... RNG is fun at first, but as time goes on, it starts getting really annoying when you get bad draws on it. So, I love the fact that this is quest-based. What I'm not particularly fond of is the fact that you have to go through Baroque Tier. And I'll elaborate more on that as soon as I get to them so I can show you the actual systems involved with this. Now, right here, surrounded by this mass of frames... That guy there is Broke Tear. He's got a nice little bird face going on. And right here is the quest, Sands of Inaros. It's a blueprint. You have to buy the blueprint from him, and then you got to go craft it for the materials that it costs. Now, you'll see fancy symbol here, which is Ducats, or Ducats, however you want to pronounce it. I'm not going to judge you. And, of course, it's got a credit cost associated on top of that. Well, you're probably asking, how do I get these Ducats, these Ducats? These void symbol -y looking dudes. Well, I mean, you'll see I've got 45 up here, but let me show you how. Over to the side, and this is always around, you'll see this void trader kiosk here. And it's in all the relays, even if he's not there. But you go to the Dukat kiosk here, and you'll see every little void prime part you've gotten. Prime chassis, blueprints, parts for weapons frames, everything you might get from the Void that's a Prime is in this little thing. So already, the astute audience you are, you're already figuring out why I don't really like this that much. Now, in the upper left of each little item, like each little Prime part, you'll see there's a cost listed in these. So, being that it's only a selling thing, not a buying thing, you figured out by now, because you're all smart people, that this is how much you get for each part. This can range from 10, which is one of the most common things you're going to see, to about 50. 50 being things that are theoretically rare, although not all things that are rare. Because if all things that were rare were 50, then my boy Frost Prime's parts here that I've been holding on to to trade to people if they want them for, you know, a little bit of influx in my platinum, should it get low. These are all 10. You might also remember that Frost Prime is in the vault now. You can't even get him anymore. But the cost of these things is 10, 10, and 20. Eh. Okay, so th besides the point of me not liking the fact that you have to trade your void things to get this... Let's just go through here. We'll sell a couple of things. You can see it. So I'm, I've got a couple of prime ornaments I don't want because I've got a million of them and I don't need them all. I decide to sell two of them. You can see the two of them gets me 20 ducats out of the amount that we needed. So you would go through this process. You would sell whatever you needed 
of these prime parts, whatever you hopefully didn't need to use at all, for the Ducats. When you got up to the amount that you needed, you come back over to him and you would buy this. I already bought it. I'm not going to buy it again. You'll see it says one owned there. Now, this is how the Void Trader works in general. You go to him. You see what he's got. If he's got something that interests you, you go to the kiosk. You sell off all your excess prime parts instead of selling them to a player for platinum. And then you go back to him and you buy it for the cost of the Ducats and for the money. There's certain aesthetical items usually that pops up on him. And he's some of the only way of getting it. But for this quest, he's the only way of getting this quest too. So you get it, you buy it from him, you go to the key section of your foundry, and then you would craft it. I got a little ahead of myself and started crafting it earlier, but the biggest thing people would complain about that it requires is going to be that it requires one of those Natane extracts. Just one so far, but I also haven't gotten as far as building it to see what the frame itself requires. So if you haven't been paying attention to those Natane alerts, you should probably make sure that you're doing those as you go just so that you can get these kind of things. Now after that's done being built, you'll collect it and you'll probably end up selecting the quest just like any other one where you get a message from the Lotus and then you can come into your quests option and it'll be right down there where it's not because I haven't built it yet. And then you'll go through the quest and do all the missions to get the stuff. It's pretty straightforward but it is one of those quests where people might not necessarily think of going to him to f figure out that's how you get the quest i mean most of the other quests it's been like displayed somewhere or it's kind of been hinted at this one if you haven't read the patch notes you're not going to have any clue that you would actually go to broke tier to even find it so i just thought it would be a good quality of life thing for all of you for me to just let you know that's where it is and if i haven't gone over the whole broke tier void trading system there you have it now you know how that works. Now you know how you can get that quest and anything else from him if you should so choose. That's going to be it for this episode. I may or may not eventually get around to doing the spy missions for the Moon Tile set because that'll be fun. Which theoretically sounds like it is more of how spy works except for with one mechanical twist that sounds like it could be interesting. So you can look forward to that if I do it and I discover that it's not really all that different and you guys can kind of figure it out, then I might just skip doing the tutorial on it and leave it as the normal spy tutorial I have up. As usual, comments, questions, leave them in the area below. If you have any tips for anybody or any suggestions, leave those down there too. I'll try to get back to them when I get a chance or when I'm alerted to them because you know how YouTube gets sometimes with the comment section. Until next time, keep having fun, guys.